hello connected family welcome to connected training videos today in this video we got a request about a use case where an user wanted to fill a form on google form and generate a pdf file that is an invoice bill and send the in generated invoice bill on whatsapp so using whatsapp cloud api so we will do this use case execution everything inside connected let me show you how to build this use case so let's log into connect it so before we creating a workflow so we will authorize all these apps that is google forms whatsapp cloud api and also like i'm using pdf monkey to generate and pdf so basically you can use any other form instead of google form and similarly any other pdf generation tool instead of pdf monkey as well and also notifying user via whatsapp so i'm using whatsapp cloud api so you can use any other so now let's jump on and authorize google form inside connect so just search for google forms so you have to click on add account so this will redirect me to google account and it will you have to give permission for connect to access your account so you have to click on your account and give permission for connect to access your account so this is how you have to authorize google form inside connect it i already authorized my account so i'm not going to do it again so similar way i have to do the repeat the same process for whatsapp cloud api and also for pdf monkey so let's do that so i'm going to search for pdf monkey so again it will ask me for api key so you have to go to pdf monkey dashboard and inside when you click on your name so from my account so here you will get your api key just copy that and go to connect it and paste your api key and click on send continue that's it this will going to authorize pdf monkey inside connect it so now let's go and see how to authorize whatsapp cloud api so we had done a previous video on how to set up like end-to-end -end process how to set up whatsapp cloud api and generate a permanent token and also to create a template so please do watch that video we will add that uh, video on the description as well so please do watch how to set up a whatsapp cloud api and generate a permanent token so now for the time being or for the demo purpose i am just using a similar token that is temporary token so please do watch that video where you will be able to generate a permanent token just copy and paste the token here it will ask for phone number id it will be available inside your whatsapp cloud api account so just copy that and paste it over here and similarly whatsapp business account id so same thing you have to copy and paste it here so i have and then click on ascent continue so this will going to authorize your whatsapp cloud api account inside connect it so now we are done with our authorization so let us start by building a workflow and for whatsapp cloud api i had created a whatsapp template so that looks like this so i am using this template that is ebook payment so which has an header so you can see the header document and the body so it says dear the variable two that is the name so thank you for purchasing one is the product name so we value your feedback and experience and i have added a branding that is in my footer so it is sent via connection and a cta so where they can share their feedback as well so similarly you can create a template and you can actually get it approved from meta so now i have shown all these things inside my previous video please do watch that video for further reference so now we will go back to connect it and start building our use case so I just click on create connect. So now I'll start by naming my connect. See, send video bell on WhatsApp. So now I will search for Google Forms. As you all know, Google Forms is our trigger. So I'm going to use that. So just drag and drop Google Form and select your account and select the trigger as new response like basically any new response is it's all about google form field so now choose your spreadsheet so which spreadsheet you will be sending the form so 
so and select your form details and it on test and review so this will ask you for mandatory field so you can select and click on proceed and there will be a pop-up open where you have to add a trigger manually so basically you are creating and um, you know triggers to respond to you like whenever there is a form filled so let's do that so give permission for your account just choose your account and now click on add trigger so here we will be selecting that whenever somebody submit a form on form submit so that is your event type and then you have to notify me immediately so that is a trigger you are adding just click on save and it will redirect you for your account so basically we are creating an app script for you don't worry about the warning because you are creating app script inside your account itself so just you can go ahead and click on this and give permission for your account app script so now we have successfully placed a trigger inside your app script that is inside your google forms so now we can go ahead and close this now go to connect it we there will be a successfully at the first row will be get fetched inside our google forms so now we have to generate a bill using this details so we will be using pdf monkey so for generating pdf bill inside pdf monkey so this is a template so i am having so that look like this where it has and you know like the address and also the product details so for this we have to go to test data this is the data we have to send for pdf monkey so basically this data is a json format so you have to copy the no need to worry about format and all just copy this code and go to connect it and before dragging and drop pdf monkey so just use text formatter to merge data basically you are just aligning or you now adding your data over here like basically creating a customized content i will show you how to do that so just paste the content copied content from pdf monkey and i have to use this particular name so i will just connect the name and if you want to use any other details also you can just connect so right now i'm just going to use only the name form of client name so i'll just use that so we just go here and click on add the red symbol so this will display the name and then i'm done with my placement so just click on validate so this will going to validate my record successfully so now i will use pdf monkey to generate a pdf so drag and drop pdf monkey so select your account so basically select the trick action as generate document and it asks you for dynamic data that is json format which is an example data which is given in pdf so we already got this from our text formatter just connect that and then the template id go to pdf monkey here is your template id or below your name of the template so just copy that and go to connect it and paste inside connect it and it on test and review this will going to generate a pdf bill inside connect it and in this plus icon it will give you the preview url and also the download url so we required the download url basically for sending an whatsapp so you just need to select that and click on ok so now we have our bill ready so now we have to send this bill inside whatsapp that's it so for this go to search option again search for whatsapp cloud api and drag and drop the app select your account select the action as send template message as i already shown i am going to select the template as ebook payment so i'll be selecting that particular template now let me search for that so i select the wrong phone so select it again so i have that ebook payment and then select my language it will ask me for the number and the url and also the body fields so we know that like we got the number from google form so just add that number so that it will go to the client 
number and now we have the pdf bill which we generated from pdf monkey give it that in header url and you can just name your uh header like file name basically this will going to display inside your whatsapp so just name the file name i will just name it as connected bill and we already know the second field is the name of the client so i'll just use the second field as the name and the first field is the product name so i'm gonna keep that as any product name maybe like connect then something like that so or even you can give it from dynamically as well so now we are all set just hit on test and review so this will going to send a whatsapp message to the client so we already received the whatsapp message so let me go here and you can see that this is a whatsapp message which says the connected bill so user can actually download that bill so which actually shown like this so basically the bill will be shown like this which is customized you can see the name present over here and also the product name which we had given over inside our uh, app and everything will be generated as a pdf bill so this is how you can send a pdf bill on your whatsapp so whenever somebody fills an google form so now i will go ahead and publish this connect to test this connect how it is actually been working so let's go ahead and publish yes our connects actually successfully published so now i will go ahead and test this form so go to my form this is my form and i will fill using this detail that i'm going to use john doe and then the email any email so i just use john doe at gmail.com and phone number just for demo purpose i'm using the same phone number and company name which is not mandatory to i'm just using this to submit my form yes we submitted the form successfully so based on our connects which looks like this so whenever there is a new form submitted automatically a pdf will be generated using pdf monkey and then it will be sent to our whatsapp so let's wait for to receive a message on whatsapp let me go ahead and check whatsapp yes we received a whatsapp message you can see i am going to download that so let me open that whatsapp message yes it says john doe so yes we generated a new pdf document inside connects it so hope you guys like this integration and if you have any questions on this particular integration do drop me on the comment section below we'll be happy to help thanks for watching this video guys have a great day